Good evening, council members, Mayor Pro Tem, Mayor Adler. I appreciate you staying up late to listen to this. My name is Jennifer Ayers. Laura Dola has donated her time to me. I've lived here since 1987. I have my degree in fine arts from UT. I absolutely depend on Airbnb to continue to be an artist. I have about 2,000 friends and acquaintances here that are artists, performers, and musicians. And almost all of the ones I know lucky enough to own a home here depend on STR income of both types to be able to continue their craft. The rest use Airbnb to travel and tour affordably. We are what gives Austin culture. I live close to UT and host UT parents a lot. My artist friends with STR2s host a lot of families that come up to tour UT and visit their kids. Families looking to move here use both of them while they figure out what neighborhoods they want to live in because SDRs are an affordable way to take time to find a place or to bring their family with them. Type twos are not always about parties and there's only a dozen or so bad actors. Airbnb will also allow me to care for my aging father. I'm slowly building out my garage into another bedroom specifically to be able to care for him, but would like to be able to rent it in the meantime to save up to care for him. I don't want him to go to a home. I've been hosting for two and a half years and I'm rated a super host with 247 reviews, averaging five star rating. I've never had any issues with the neighbors complaining, any trouble with guests misbehaving. I've rented rooms in my house since I was 22, mostly long term, and I've had some long term renters that have been way worse than any guest I've ever had. And <clears throat> as have the homeowners around me that rent long term. I'm more comfortable with my guests than I ever was with my roommates because it's a self-policing situation with the review system. I've lived next door to two long-term rentals. One is a crack house with police there at least four times a month. The other is a neighbor that goes off his meds and the cops know him on a first name basis and go to get their shotguns before dealing with him. As an Airbnb host, I never had the cops at my house. If you get rid of STRs, either one or two, and make it any more difficult for us, many of my friends and I will have to move out of Austin. Many already have because they could no longer afford to live here. In response to the housing shortage, I own two homes near the city center. I did my time in tech. I used to work with Star Long. Um, and I bought cheap and young so I could be an artist now. One is an STR1, the other I rent long term. $300 below market rental value in that area. My SDR is what allows me to rent my other house long term at affordable rate. When I lost my tech job and was unable, unable to find another one, being able to do an STR allowed me to keep my home, my head above water, and not go bankrupt while I transitioned into a full-time artist. I also respectfully ask that the council return to the two per bedroom plus two model that Mayor Adler proposed. Please vote down these new restrictions so that I can afford to stay in Austin as an artist, afford to adopt a child, and afford to take care of my father. Miss Houston, I am in your district, as are several of my artist friends. You are deciding the fate of my career and our careers and whether or not we get to stay in Austin. Can you explain how this is going to work? Can you find a way to deal with the bad actors without affecting the rest of us following the rules, including the very vulnerable arts community that are part of the city's culture? Thank you for listening. Is theirs, thank you.